Hello there. My name is Holly Edmondson. I'm a yoga teacher in Asheville, North Carolina. And today I have a couple of chair yoga exercises for a healthy spine to share. There are a couple of things that I like to do to get ready for a yoga practice before I start. First, I'll tidy up my space a little bit, prepare my practice space, maybe light a candle so that there's something nice to smell. I'll also take a cozy blanket or a folded towel and place that on top of the seat of my chair. As sometimes the hard chair is uncomfortable to practice on. And so if you don't have a cushion, you might take a blanket or a towel and put it over your chair so you've got a cushy space to work with. And then as I get ready, I like to take a few little wiggles when I get in my chair to really settle in. I scoot forward a little bit so I've got some space. And take a couple of shoulder rolls just to release any tension that might be in my shoulders as this is a particular place for me where I tend to hold tension. And then I'll take a couple of breaths just to focus on turning inward for a moment. I'm noticing the sensations of the inhale sensations of the exhale. And I'll set an intention to be kind and gentle as I move forward with my practice. And I invite you to set the same intention or whatever intention works for your day today. And thank you for joining me. So we'll get started with some seated sun breaths. We'll just lift our arms overhead and then bring the arms back down to our sides. And if you'd like to pair the breath here, you can inhale as you reach your arms up and exhale as you reach your arms down. And just continue on like so. Inhale, reaching just as high as is comfortable for your shoulders and exhaling to bring the hands back down to the sides. Inhaling to reach up nice and tall and exhaling to reach down. Now we'll go on to a seated spinal stretch. You can inhale and let your belly and ribs pull forward as your shoulders reach back and maybe you lift your gaze. And then exhale as you round your spine, tuck your tailbone and maybe your chin. You can inhale to open through the front body and lift the gaze, arching the back slightly. And then exhale to round the spine, bringing your navel towards your spinal column. You can inhale to look back up. Exhale to round the spine and look down. And you're welcome to do as many of these cat cows as feels good. And then Whenever you feel complete with your cat cow or your extension and flexion, we'll move on to a seated side stretch. So you can bring your hand to the seat or your elbow into the arm of the chair. And we'll start with our right side. So you can lift your right arm up and lean onto your left hand. And take some big circles with your right arm here to open up your shoulder. Only if that feels good. You could take a couple of circles in the opposite direction if that feels like it's helpful. Or maybe just staying still in the side stretch. And when you're ready, we'll come back up and breathe in. And then exhale to bring the right hand down this time and lean over to the right side. And opening the left side body here. Maybe taking a few shoulder circles with the arm. Or if you'd like, you can just stay in stillness in this side stretch. And when you're ready, we'll inhale back up to center and then exhale to bring everything back down. We'll do that again. Inhale to reach the right arm up high. Exhale to lean over onto the left elbow or the left hand. You could also explore some wrist circles here and just circle your hand a few times in one direction 
And then circle the hand in the other. Sometimes doing joint rotations will result in some snap, crackle, pop noises, and that's totally normal. When you're ready, we can inhale to reach back up and exhale to bring the right arm down. We'll inhale to lift the left arm. Exhale to lean over onto the right. And then if you'd like here, you can either stay in the stretch or take a couple of wrist circles with your hand in the air. Maybe one way and the other. And then when you're ready, we can inhale and reach that arm right back up to center. And exhale to bring it back down. Great job. We'll do that one more time on each side. You can inhale to reach your right arm up. Exhale to lean over onto your left. And you're welcome to either just stay still in the stretch or take shoulder circles or wrist circles a little bit more if one of those felt nice. Really grounding through your hip and then inhaling to come back up. Exhaling to drop the hand down, and we'll inhale to reach the left arm nice and high. Exhale to lean over to the right. Then on this side, same option. You can stay still, take some shoulder circles or some wrist circles. Anything that feels like your body's calling for. And we'll inhale back up and exhale to bring the hands back down. Now we'll do some seated spinal twists, just gentle twists to the left and the right. So we can bring our hands together in front of our heart center and inhale to really grow nice and tall through the whole length of the spine and then exhale as we turn gently to the left. We can inhale here to grow really nice and tall again and then exhale maybe to take our gaze a little bit over our left shoulder. And take another breath here. Inhale to grow nice and tall. As if a string is pulling on the crown of your head. And then exhale can unravel you forward. You can take an inhale here and grow really nice and tall again. And then exhale and turn to the right this time. As if you were turning from your belly button. And inhale and grow really tall again. And then exhale to turn a little bit over to the right more, or maybe just take your gaze a little over your right shoulder. Take another breath here. And then exhale can unwind you forward. Great job. So seated sun salutations. We'll just inhale and reach our hands up together. And then exhale to bring them out and down. You can inhale to bring the hands back up together and exhale to bring them out and down. So just making a big circle. Inhale, bringing the hands up the midline. Exhale, bringing the hands out and down. Great job. So we'll do a couple more spinal twists. If you want to inhale here and grow really nice and tall again through the whole length of your spine, and then exhale to turn to the left. We'll inhale to grow tall again, and then exhale to the left, maybe taking your gaze a little over your left shoulder. Maybe one more breath on this side. And then when you're ready, we can inhale to unravel forward and exhale to settle. We'll take a breath here to grow really tall again. And then exhale to turn to the right, leading with your navel. Inhale to grow tall. Maybe exhale to turn a little more or just take your gaze a little over your right shoulder. You can take another breath on this side. And then whenever you're ready to unravel, you can come forward and then settle. We'll do the opposite sun salutation, inhaling our arms out and up, and then exhaling the hands down through the midline. So just the opposite of what we were doing before. Inhale the arms out and up. 
And exhale the hands down through the midline. And then inhale the arms back out and up. And exhale the hands through the midline. Now we'll do some seated elbow circles. So if you want to bring your arms out into a cactus position or a goalpost position, you can get situated in your seat a little bit. And then bring your elbows out into 90 degree angles or just however far is comfortable. Then we'll do some gentle circles here, just little circles with our elbows. And we'll start making our circles forward a few times. And then we can make our circles backwards, just alternating forwards and backwards a couple of times to get both directions. And just breathing steadily here in and out. And then we'll do a nice little shoulder opener. So if you wanna inhale and reach your elbows back and open, and then exhale to bring your elbows together in front of you. You can inhale to open your shoulders and your elbows and then exhale to close them together. Inhaling to open the shoulders, exhaling to close the arms together. Inhaling to open wide and exhaling to close. Really seeing here if you can let your chest and collarbones feel nice and wide as you open. And then closing the elbows together as you breathe out. You can take this for as many more as feels good for your shoulders. Now we'll do some seated lower body stretches. So if you want to bring your knee up into your chest and just give it a nice little hug, you could give it a gentle rock back and forth just to release a little bit into your hip. Taking any organic movements. You could take a couple of circles with your ankle as you've got your knee hugged in here. Maybe just circling your ankle a few times in one way, a few times in the other way. And just keeping your spine nice and tall here. You could switch your grip underneath your thigh and then just bend and flex your knee as much as is comfortable here, just a couple times. Just to bring some motion into that knee, some flexion and extension. And you can wiggle your foot a little bit as you move your knee joint. And then we'll give our knee another little squeeze in, and give it a nice little hug here, maybe a rock. And then we're gonna take our knee in some big circles. So open our knee out in some big circles. And then close our knee in with some circles, just giving our hip a little bit of attention here. And you can pause anywhere and linger if somewhere feels particularly helpful and then just settle your foot back down when you're ready to move on to the other side. When you're ready, we'll take the opposite knee into a nice little hug here. Maybe give it a gentle rock as we first bring it in and first get that stretch. And then when you're ready, you can take your ankle in a couple of circles on this side. So just doing a couple circles in one way couple circles in the other way. And then when you're done with your ankle, we'll just move our knee joint a little bit. So taking our grip underneath our leg and just bending and straightening that knee as much as is comfortable. You can play with your foot a little bit here, wiggling your toes or your ankle as you stretch and flex your foot and your knee. And then when you're ready, we'll give it another little hug in, a little rock back and forth, and then take some hip circles on this second side. So taking your knee in some nice big circles or some small circles if that works better for you today. And you can pause anywhere, just making sure to go the other direction a couple times to balance it out. And whenever you're finished, we can give that knee another little squeeze in and grow real tall and then exhale we can bring our foot back down to the ground and we'll do some seated shoulder shrugs here and so it's just to release some tension so we'll inhale and bring the shoulders up and exhale just to settle them down 
Inhale, you can shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And the exhale can settle the shoulders down. And the inhale can reach the shoulders up. And the exhale can bring them down. You can also do a couple of shoulder circles here, just rolling up and back a few times in a circle. Maybe inhaling up and exhaling down. And then if you'd like, you can go back and forward. So rolling your shoulders in a forward circle a few times. Now we'll do some seated neck stretches, and this is some of my favorite. So you're welcome to pause the video at any point if you'd like to spend a little extra time. We'll just inhale and look up, and then exhale and look down. So just starting off with some gentle front and back neck stretches, inhaling and looking up, really lifting through your chin to stretch the front of your neck, and exhaling to tuck your chin and look down towards the floor as you stretch the back of your neck. You can take this inhale back up to the sky and exhale back down to the earth. You're welcome to move slow here if I'm not moving at a pace that fits your pace today. You're a little faster if I'm moving a little too slow. We'll inhale and look over to the left here, just as if we were looking over our left shoulder, and then exhale back to center. And then inhale to look over our right shoulder. And then exhale to come back to the midline. Inhale to look over to the left. And the exhale can bring you back to center. And inhale can look over to the right. And the exhale can bring you back to center. Inhale, can look over to the left. Exhale, can bring you back to center. And inhale, can look over to the right. And exhale, can come back to center. Do some side and neck stretches here. So you grow really tall as you breathe in and then exhale to let your left ear drop over to your left shoulder. Stretch the right side of your neck. You can take a couple of breaths here and see if you can focus on letting your right shoulder let go a little bit. Maybe just breathing into this space in the right side of your neck. And then we'll inhale to lift the crown back up to center and exhale to drop the right ear over to the right shoulder this time. Seeing if you can relax your left shoulder and breathe into this space. Whenever you're ready, we'll inhale back up. And if you'd like to, you could also experiment with using your hand as an assist here, inhaling your left arm up and over to gently touch your right temple as you lean your left ear towards your left shoulder. And just using your fingertips as a gentle reminder to let go instead of pressing too hard just being a gentle reminder to your neck to let go. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale to release and exhale to settle. And we can do the other side. Inhale and reach the right arm up and over. Exhale and tilt the right ear a little closer to the right shoulder as you open the left side of your neck. And just keeping your fingertips on your temple is a gentle reminder here being very careful as our neck is this precious space. And when you're ready to release here, we'll inhale and release the arm down and exhale to settle. Awesome job. So now we'll take some gentle circles and you can take these as small or as big as feels good for your neck. You can just start by taking some small circles with your nose as if you were drawing a little tiny circle. And then gradually you can let that circle get a little bit bigger. You might even begin to start pairing your breath here. So as you roll up and over, you can inhale. And then as you roll down and over, you could exhale. So inhaling to roll up and over. 
Exhaling to roll down and over. And you're welcome to pause in any places that feel nice. And we'll just do the other side. So here we'll just take our nose in some small circles in the opposite direction. Starting off nice and small at first. And then we can gradually let those circles get a little bit bigger, just growing naturally as it feels okay for your neck. Maybe inhaling as you roll up and over. Exhaling as you roll down and over. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. I'm taking this as slow and pausing in any places that feel like they would like a little extra attention as you'd like to. Now we'll do some gentle hand massage here. So if you want to just take a look at your palm and take your thumb and take a big circle into the meaty part of your palm. Just doing some little circles all across the center of your palm and then maybe rub up and down on that big thumb muscle on the side there. And then you can give a little attention to each finger, just kind of rubbing some gentle pressure down each finger. Your pointer finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, pinky finger, and your thumb. And then we'll switch to the other side whenever you're ready. Just doing some big circles into your palm. You can rub up and down in that big muscle right under your thumb. And then spend a little attention on each finger, massaging your thumb, gently massaging your pointer finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky finger. And then you can just clench and open your fists a couple times. So just clenching all your fingers into a fist and then opening them out. And then we'll take the heels of our hands right into the hinge of our jaw and rub circles with the heel of our hands right into the hinge of our jaw. And if you don't like the heel of your hands, you can always switch to your fingertips here. It helps to open your mouth. Sometimes that can get some of those deeper jaw muscles and some of the muscles by your ears. If you open and close your mouth a little bit as you explore this space. And you can try with your fingertips to get a little bit more specific. And then when you're finished with your jaw, it can feel really nice to move up to your temples and rub some circles into your temples with some gentle pressure. And then once you've given your temples a little bit of attention, I like to take my finger and do some gentle circles right into the space in between my eyebrows or my third eye and then rub up and down on the bridge of my nose just to release the muscles in my forehead. And then I'll take a few moments just to sit in peaceful quiet and listen to whatever sounds make their way through my windows, any noises my kitty or my dog happen to make as I sit in easeful stillness. And take a moment to send any gratitude outward that you feel like maybe the universe could use. A little gratitude for the sunshine, for the rain, for the wind and the air, anything outside that brings you joy. And then take a just a quick moment to be grateful for yourself before this time that you've taken to care for yourself. And you're welcome to stay here and relax in this peaceful stillness that you've created for as long as you'd like. And thank you so much for coming to share your practice with me today. And go in peace. Namaste.